guys, I'm Mariana Epperson and welcome to Pepper Shots! Yay! On my recent trip to Malaysia, not only did I haul some matcha products, I got some beauty products as well. And I'd love to share it with you guys because whenever I visit a new place or a country especially, I am always on the lookout for new makeup products. So I'm going to start you off with some mascaras. I didn't get one, I didn't get two, I got four. Why? Because I wear mascara every day and these are just some of the things that I've heard about online and that I just had to purchase when I got here. Here are the four mascaras. Let me go start by the stuff that I found in drugstores. When I found the drugstore, I was on the search for Barbie Big Eyes Mascara because in my last tutorial video, that is like the bomb.com. Like I swear by that. It's just amazing volume and length without being clumpy or spidery at all. So I couldn't find the Barbie edition anymore. So instead, I just found Maybelline's Big Eyes Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. So it has a wand for the upper lash, which is the big one. And on the other side, instead of a fiber in the Barbie Big Eyes, it's a one for the lower lashes. It's much smaller than the one for the upper lashes. Tried it, loved it, just as good as the Barbie one. Get it. So just because I didn't get the Barbie Big Eyes, I was able to find the Magnum Barbie. Yes, look at that. Look at how cute the packaging is with that signature pink Barbie color. This one I've tried also. It gives a very natural look. I only put like one coat and it's enough for me. This is like something I could use every day as well. So I've always heard good reviews about Benefits Roller Lash and just had to get it. For me, it's been on the pricey side for a mascara, especially if I use it every day. But I was able to find a mini version of it. Look how cute! And the box is so tiny as well. Ah, when you put it next to the regular mascara, you can tell that it is half the size and just very small. And I only wanted to get it because I've read mixed reviews, like people don't think much of it and people swear by this. So I can definitely say that this is amazing. Like I would recommend getting just the mini version. I got the set Sephora, which I'm so glad they have the tiny one. And now I am sure that I will buy the bigger version the next time. Now everyone knows about Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I had to get this. Unfortunately, when I was in Sephora, they did not have the original formula, but the waterproof formula instead. So here it is. The packaging is really cool. It looks like there are water droplets on it, but of course there aren't any. It's just to prove this is waterproof. So I've read mixed reviews on this also that it tends to be kind of clumpy which I'm wearing it right now. I will show you. Not plump at all, and maybe this is only because I don't put on like five coats. One coat of this, and it's fine. It really gives that natural look, and I don't have to worry like if I'm going to go watch The Notebook or Walk to Remember that my mascara will not be dripping off my face. So I guess this is perfect. You really gotta try it out though to see if this is for you. The next time though, birds. If I were to buy this though the next time, I would just get the original formula and not the waterproof. But what really sold me on this mascara was the fact that the box was like 1,944% more volume. What the heck? So I just had to try it for myself and see, and I'm not seeing 1,944%, but I am seeing some major volume in my lashes right now. In Sephora also, I really wanted to try Benefits Hula Bronzer. I've heard great things about it that it goes with any kind of skin tone and that is something I want. I already have a bronzer from Art Deco, which is why I didn't think I needed another full size bronzer. So I found this. It's a tiny Hula Bronzer. Okay, so I think this is perfect for me because I already have a bronzer and all I wanted to do was to try it. And it's really cute because it comes with a brush inside and a little plastic covering and then there it is. I wouldn't say it's that much smaller compared to the normal size. So this is Benefit's Rocketeur blush, and I'm pretty sure the Hula would be the same size. So here it is, side by side. Not that much of a difference, I guess. So right now I'm wearing the Hula bronzer. I think it gives that natural glow, because I put on foundation, and I was like, oh my god, I look so dead. And then a little bit of this bronzer, a little bit goes a long way. There it is. Not dead. <laughs> Now another convenience store find that I found were these face masks. And of course I love Korean face masks because I feel like it's something nice to pamper yourself with every now and then. But it's not just something I bought on the fly because man, go get them at Etude House. One, they're cheaper and two, they're really cute and I know they work. But 
I was very open-minded to this brand because, well, let me show you. The brand is Chuni. It was a uh, buy three for the price of two. And <laughs> so here's a cute one. This is Bird's Nest Brightening Mask Pack. Birds. This is Goat's Milk Nourishing Mask Pack. Sounds really good. But this is what got me, girl. <laughs> Horse Fat Rejuvenating Mask Pack. Horse fat? Who thought like, girl, we need to put horse fat in our mask. What is this for? How does horse fat rejuvenate your face? Personally, I have no idea, but I just had to buy it based on the fact that they had a horse fat mask. I could have gotten three of the horse fat, but just to be safe, I got the generic ones. You know, so each of them it's something I can look forward to trying, and but the horse fat will definitely be the first one. I have no review yet on this, but I will let you know how it turns out. Maybe I'll let you know on Snapchat. Ooh, plug, follow me, Snapchat, at Snaps. Okie dokie, also at the convenience store, I was able to find this Beore. This is some great cleansing micellar water. Like, I put on the most waterproof pigmented stuff on my hand, and I was able to take it off by just gently rubbing it off. This is Amaze balls. This is the perfect cleansing water, smooth, bright skin. And I would hoard this the next time because it's so gentle. If you were to like put it on your eye, it would not sting like some micellar waters. So there's this outlet mall in KL that's called Mitsui, and they have a place for like makeup, and there's a sasa, and I was able to get a buy one take one on some of these products. So I got buy one take one on more makeup remover because you can never have too much makeup remover. This is Cyber Colors Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, but I'm pretty sure you can use this for your whole face. And when they say gentle, I mean gentle. This is like, put on that better than sex, mascara, waterproof, pain in the ass to get off. Use this, just, I swear, just go like that and it's off. This is amazing. I never thought this would work. I just got it because it was buy one take one and I'm a hoarder and I was like, oh my god. I'm saving so much, but it really works guys. Totally recommend getting this. All you have to do is shake it up because it has the blue part on top, which is the oil and the white part, which is the micellar water. And then it becomes all blue and then take off your makeup and it's wonderful. Another thing I got for buy one, take one was on Maybelline's Color Sensational Lipstick. This is Summer Sunset 615. So let me swatch it for you guys. It's really nice. Usually I'd go for a matte lipstick, but this has a tiny bit of sheen. Greedy! So when I bought this, I got two of the same color, both in Summer Sunset, because the other color that was only available was like this light peach, and I don't think that would go well with my skin tone. I just gave the other one away as a gift to my friend. Also at the outlet mall, I was able to find some MAC products that were like on sale, anywhere from 30 to 50% off. So I was able to find their Fluid Line Eyeliner in Blitz and Glitz. So this is a very pigmented eyeliner. I suggest using a thin eyeliner brush to apply. Okay, so you can see I've already dipped into the pot. Let me just show you how pigmented this is. I like put it on my finger and there, there's like this huge black. So it's just a jet black and it has the tiniest gold specks in them. I think this is very nice if you're going for like a smoky eye look. Oh damn, girl. Of course, don't apply it like this unless you're going for that eyeliner look. While I'm at it, why don't I show you how great the micellar water is. So here I have a cotton pad and the gentle eye remover and the micellar water. So I'm just gonna show you now. This is dried and it's literally transfer proof. It's not coming off. It's not smudging. Amazing. So I'm going in with the micellar water first. I'm very gently going over it. Et voila! Gone! Now I will use the Cyber Colors Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I just wiped it off. Bang. Gone. Amazing! Hoard this next time at the Sasa Outlet Mall, especially if it's buy one, take one. So worth it. This, I've tried using it on my eyes, and even if it gets in there, no sting. 
at all. And lastly, this is my little investment on myself. My ultimate favorite scent is Victoria's Secret Warm and Cozy Body Mist. So this is how it looks like. I bought this so many years ago and as you can see I have very little left and I don't use it every day anymore because I just want to use it for special occasions. Every time I've been complimented on my scent, it just so happens I'm wearing this perfume and I was so sad because I can't find this in Manila anymore. Why? It smells so good. And I was ecstatic to find out that Victoria's Secret has Warm and Cozy available. Oh my gosh, so this is the pink Warm and Cozy Body Mist. The packaging is totally different now. And it is the same amount though, it is still 250 ml. I just think this one's cuter. I'm just gonna spray it, you know, because mm, why not? It just encapsulates the whole being of being warm and cozy. This is Cozy Up in Toasted Vanilla and Peony. So it has that slight floral scent, but more on the warm toasted vanilla. I love this. I just spray it all over, put it in my hair, put it on my clothes, put it on my body, because this smell. Also on my trip to Malaysia, I know a lot of you guys are asking what my lippy of the day is. You can check it out on Instagram, my hashtag Ariana's L-O-T-D or lippy of the day. I've been using a lot of ColourPop lipstick. So this is just a shout out to Paradise Treats on Instagram. Thank you so much. They sent me so many ColourPop lipsticks and this one is so cute. I'm gonna swatch for you because it's pretty. This is their Ultra Satin Lipstick in the shade Lion King. So look at that, it's so pretty! Ah. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have any suggestions for future videos. You can leave a comment down below. I'd love to do something makeup related again because I just love anything beauty. Anyway, if you enjoyed and want more of this peppery awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!